So I'm not sure how many of you are old enough to remember the log cabin Republicans, but they've been around for quite some time. And believe it or not, they're still around. And for those of you unaware, the log cabin Republicans is basically a bunch of gay Republicans who are trying to convince LGBTQ plus people that the GOP, contrary to popular belief, is not hateful and indeed are very inclusive of queer people. Now, the irony is that as they've tried to promote this message, they themselves have been marginalized by the Republican Party. They want nothing to do with them. They oftentimes struggle to get uh, venues at CPAC and whatnot. And this has been a long-term struggle, but they've persisted and they are hell-bent on convincing gay people that they love you. It's just, it's, it's laughable. It's a futile effort, but nonetheless, it is somewhat funny. So I can't not look at them in at least... A humorous way, right? Like they're there for our entertainment purposes more than anything, right? Because nobody believes what they're selling. Anyways, they're still around and they have an affiliate organization called Outspoken. And Outspoken, they recently hired a bunch of ambassadors to, I guess, do outreach to youth LGBTQ plus people. To be honest, I don't know what the goal of this organization is, but it's an extension of the log cabin Republicans. And I'm going to let one of their ambassadors explain what the goal is overall. Today I'm excited to announce that I'm officially an ambassador for Outspoken. For those of you who don't know what Outspoken is, Outspoken is a collection of my fellow homosexuals and other LGBT variants, as they say these days, working together to shatter the ridiculous narrative that Republicans hate gay people because that narrative is several decades old and does not apply to the modern Republican Party. Together we're going to make the Republican Party based again. We're going Going to make the Republican Party iconic again, and I look forward to working with each and every person who's watching this video to destroy these narratives and to carry this new iconic based Republican Party to victory in 2024. Let's get back to winning again. I am convinced that this group is a psyop created by conservative straight actors to make queer people seem as insufferable as possible because even i as a gay man was watching that i felt homophobia like rising in my body so you know i feel like their mission if, if that is indeed the case it's, it's definitely working but he says that this group is trying to convince people that actually you know the gop they're down with queers they love gay people, actually. Um, now, he's one of multiple ambassadors, as I alluded to earlier. Other ambassadors include self-loathing gay and trans people like Buck Angel, who, quote, calls himself a female who lives as a man, which is just sad. But I mean, these are the types of folks who you'd expect to be at this organization. LGBTQ plus people who weaponize their identities to normalize GOP bigotry. And there's also this person who I guess is their attempt at satirizing the far left. Truly groundbreaking comedy here. But one individual kind of stands out even more so than the meme ambassador. And that is this woman, Isabella Riley. And the reason why she stands out is because she's not even LGBTQ and she's not pretending to be. In fact, she's openly homophobic. And before you say, well, Mike, you say every conservative is homophobic. Well, she actually identifies as homophobic. So when it was announced that she'd be an ambassador, this is how she uh, tweeted about it. She wrote on Twitter, happy to be the token straight homophobic bitch ambassador for Outspoken. Now, we need to be clear. She's not just sarcastically calling herself homophobic because somebody on the left arbitrarily accused her of homophobia for no reason. She's saying that she's homophobic because she quite literally is homophobic. Case in point. Hey, faggot, are you... Are you being serious right now? You're going to say that our society is a homophobic dumpster fire? Our society literally puts faggots on a pedestal and worships them like they're God. The rainbow flag is everywhere. We love it. We love it. It's such BS to say that we're a homophobic society, that we are a homophobic society. I wish we were a homophobic society. And that's the goddamn truth. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm no expert, but as a gay man, I've got to say that her comments there slightly sus i i think we have reason to believe that she is indeed homophobic as she says she is now let's go back to something that another ambassador said that we heard from earlier working together to shatter the ridiculous narrative that republicans hate gay people because that narrative is several decades old and does not apply to the modern republican party hey faggot are you are you being serious right now yeah, what a ridiculous myth to think that the Republican Party is homophobic. I don't know why people would think this. 
what do you even say? It, it's almost like this is satirical. Like this group was formed by the Onion, and they actually responded to criticism. And their response might actually be more bizarre than them hiring Moody in the first place. But before before we get to that, I actually want to go to an op-ed written in the Washington Examiner by Brad Colombo, because this is a gay conservative, and he explains, I think eloquently so, that LGBTQ plus people are not a monolith, and there is indeed queer people who are right-wing. They're conservative. They're they're capitalist, right? They don't think that workers should own the means of production. They're against socialism, and they support a free market, right? They support Republicans or would want to, but homophobia has been a barrier to getting their support. So outreach for the GOP is is necessary, at least if you're a gay conservative. And he says, this is pretty weird. It doesn't make sense. In fact, it defies reason and logic. So let's get to what he says here. He writes, if you're confused, rest assured that everyone else is too. I reached out to both Moody and Log Cabin Republicans President Charles Moron requesting clarification and did not receive a response. The only conceivable explanation I can come up with is that they're doing this for attention. Frankly, the influence of Log Cabin Republicans on GOP politics has waned significantly in recent years, but the modest level of attention this stunt will have brought to its influencer program is surely not worth the destruction of whatever credibility log cabin had left many of us within the gay and transgender communities are not democrats or liberals like any demographic we are composed of people with a wide range of personal beliefs and values yet the current orthodoxy in the establishment lgbtq community regards diversity of thought with sharp hostility i disagree with that he should check twitter uh, that's something anyone who believes in individualism ought to push back on and we need groups such as lcr to push back from within but their self-immolation means that vital pushback won't happen or at least won't be viewed with any credibility. So you can almost sense this level of exasperation in Palumbo's op-ed here because he doesn't understand why the GOP doesn't have any arm, organizationally speaking, to actually try and reach out to LGBTQ plus people. And I think it's because at this point in time, it's hopeless. They've made it their mission to demonize queer people, especially trans people. So rather than even pretending, they're just giving up seemingly. And that's what I gathered by watching their response. So Right Wing Watch actually reported on Moody being hired as an ambassador first, I believe. And they responded, outspoken, that is, responded to them hiring Moody. And their response is just so bizarre. And I can't not conclude that they've gone full joker mode at this point. Sisti from Outspoken USA. I'm your director of liberal outreach. Today, I would like to give a gratitude post to journalist Kyle Mantaila of Right Wing Watch for his impeccable skills at journalism in uncovering Isabella Riley Moody, who is a known homophobe. She has just been appointed an ambassador for Outspoken USA. I have no idea how she slipped through the cracks, but I want to thank you so much, Kyle, for uncovering this dirt. I'm going to use my influence to do whatever I can to boot this homophobe out of our ranks. Thank you so much. Okay. I get that they're trying to meme, and I'm assuming that this person identifies as a comedian, but where's the joke in that? Like, there has to be some attempt at a joke i mean putting on goofy makeup and trying to make yourself seem like a caricature of a far left individual that's one thing but if there's no comedy that accompanies it then how do you expect to drive your point home and make people laugh it's just it's bizarre and really really cringeworthy but this is the GOP's attempt at reaching out to queer people and if you go to their website by the way the outspoken website it's just like article after article bashing queer people and how outrageous and extreme they are. So, yeah, I think that the reason why there's no outreach to queer people from the GOP is because, contrary to what that first ambassador said, they f***ing hate us. And to stay with this party that has shown you time and again that they hold nothing but hate and contempt in their hearts for you, I don't know what else to call that besides stupidity and Stockholm syndrome. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralism, woke moralism, woke moralism.
voice. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.